How's it going everybody? Today I'm bringing you a guide on birdhouse runs plus seaweed followed by buckets of sand and how to collect those and how many you need. And then finally glass blowing and how to get the best rates. Also, you need the uh, lunar spell book to complete any of this. You need the super glass mink. Let's get into the guide. The very first time doing a birdhouse run, if you're not aware of this, you need to get a clockwork. You need four of them. How do you get these? You use your construction. So you go into your player house and you construct something. I can't remember. I think it's the workbench and you take nails or like steel bars or something like that. I'll put it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, you need four of those. Since I don't need it, I have everything I need in the inventory. So I've got the U logs, because that's how what level I am. If we go over here, oops, oh yeah, hold on. Oh, my bad, it's in the hunter. So you go to your hunter level and you scroll down and you see what you have, right? Willow's 24, Teak 34, goes up by that, right? I'm very close to getting Magic Birdhouse and I'm very excited about that. U is pretty good. I've been using U for a good long time. Let me tell you, I've got quite a few bird's nests from that. Anyway, let's go. You take a um, dig site pendant, which you can make with uh, a ruby and a uh, gold bar. After that, you go over to the mu a magic mushroom. You have to find all these, so you'll be able to do this on uh, Fossil Island. I go to this one first. And simply what you do is you'll take, you'll just click on empty, you'll get your stuff, you will use your clockwork on your U logs and you will have a chisel and a hammer with you. Then you will use that um, birdhouse on this little area. And then after that, you use any seed you want, right? I use the hammer stone ones because it's just really cheap and abundant. And then I go over here, I do the same thing. And then I pop this on there and it, it varies how much you can get. Like I've gotten like eight bird's nests. I'm not even kidding you from just two of them. So like four each, it's pretty nice. Here we are. We're at this one now. So we took the magic mushroom again. We're at the mushroom meadow. We're gonna cruise down here over here. Just run the path, go straight up down. Uh, by the way, if you're, if you're a, a farmer, you're gonna wanna plant these all the time. Your hardwoods are very important. Every three days, you're gonna get like 50K XP towards uh, farming. Quite handy, do encourage that. So we got our U bird's nest or, or um, birdhouse there. Fill it with the seeds and then move on. Every 45 minutes or so, you're gonna wanna do this. So we're gonna run down to the last one here. And then after that, we're gonna take off and we're gonna show you seaweed runs and how easy those can be. So right up here's the last one. Awesome, so we got a quite a few bird's nests. I'm really happy about that. As you can see, you get a nice variety of the seed ones, you get empty ones, and then sometimes rings, and then you get these egg ones that you can cash in at the, I think it's the woodcutting guild, and you got a chance at getting like a chicken outfit. It's kind of cool. Back on the little island here, we're gonna go straight to the bank. We're gonna deposit all our stuff. So before we start here, you're going to notice, why am I wearing this? It's a scuba diving outfit. Well, it's nice to have so your character does not drown down in the, uh, the ocean there. So you need a fishbowl helmet, you need a diving apparatus, and flippers, which you can get from killing some ogres, I think. After that, after you have all those things, you'll go over to your, um, I, I put seaweed runs, I make a, my little, um, like a tab here, right? I'll take out the seaweed sword. I'm running very low on seaweed swords, by the way. You want like hundreds of them. Once you have seaweed spores plus your dibber, you go straight down to the dive. And then you're, you're gonna notice, oh, look at that, one of them died. No big deal, take a spade out, get rid of it. Perfect. So we're gonna start picking from this one. You're gonna roughly get 28 to I'd say 40 per harvest if you're very lucky um, but the most times I've ever done this I've gotten between the two patches it's it's basically been like 50 sometimes 80 
it, it, it really varies. Oh, and if you ever see this happen right down here, you always go and pick that up. Always. You always want to maximize the ones that spawn. So let's continue to pick here. Very important that you have the dive apparatus or else your oxygen level will go down. I'm a hardcore, so I don't want to lose that status. I don't think you do, by the way. I don't think you do lose your status. I think it just takes you to the surface, but I'm not about to risk that, right? Hell no. So we're almost done picking these ones and I'll show you what to do after that. You can pay this woman Nebulate, that little currency from the Fossil Island. It's the small little pebbles you do. Like you kill things and you get these little small pebbles and you can like give it to her. But we don't have enough of those and I'm not gonna bother. So here we are, we're planting two of them. These take 40 minutes. And then what you wanna do is talk to the leprechaun and take out two of your ultra composts, throw them right on top. And then I have a mod that shows the icon that I've done it, so I don't have to like second guess myself. At this point, go back up to the anchor rope and get out of there. And over time, slowly, they will start to add up. I had 18,000, or I think it was like 16,000 or something like that. I had over 100k buckets of sand also. As you can tell, this is a huge stack of molten glass. And I've blow I've like done that many so far, but it's it's very slow. It's not it's not as fast as other things, right? Anyway, let's move on to the buckets of sand and I want to show you how to do that. Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the video. The uh, buckets of sand. Anyway, you're gonna notice I'm standing right here. How to get here very fast, actually you do this. You're gonna take a ring of dueling and you're gonna go right here because that's the teleport. You're gonna run along here and you're gonna go right to the runes. It's gonna say fairy to runes, right? And that's gonna instantly transport you over to here, these ruin areas. Now the gear you'll need here is, um, you know, the best pickaxe you can get. I like to take the Varrock armor because you'll get like an extra ore every once in a while. Same thing goes with the mining cape, but I get it. Not everyone has that. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky because I just spent like, I don't know, a year of my time trying to get this stupid thing. I actually grinded it all at once. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, other than that, you just need your prospector. I mean, you don't need this. This is just extra XP, right? Of course. Okay, what you do need is this though. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna find water skins. I know there's a different method. There's like this circlet you can get, but it's a very challenging quest to get that water circlet. I mean, I don't recommend it if you're a low level, it's fine. Take out five coins. So you have like at least that many water skins. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go over here. Just run along here. Talk to the shanty guard, buy a pass for five GP, go right through. Then you're gonna wanna run along here. What we're aiming for is this little area, that little small area in the game that offers you the buckets of sand, which you so desperately need. Once you get here, you're gonna, <laughs> yeah, see, here we go. You're gonna notice a lot of people, they come here and they'll do their thing, right? I'm gonna switch worlds and we're gonna find one that's empty. Be right back. Finally, we found one. All right. What you do is you mine these and you can tell there's different sizes of the um, sandstone that you can get. Don't worry about dropping anything like, hey, I got this one kg, it sucks, right? Nah, don't worry, just, just keep it. It's gonna speed things up. So I'm just mining here. It takes quite a while, I, I won't lie to you. This take you quite a while to do. Anyway, we're gonna stop there. I've already done this, I, I can't stomach it anymore, but here we go, we got ourselves a 10 kg one, which is great. Every kg you see there is a bucket of sand. What you do after you have a full inventory is just go over here, dump it in, and then talk to this guy after you've got like, you know, you put like, first of all, you gotta take like buckets to him, right? The empty buckets, so like 25K at a time. You have them noted, you'll just give it to him. 
And then every bucket of sand that you get after that, that you turn into like the grinder there, I think he charges you 50 GP each bucket. So it's expensive, but it's practically one of the only ways to get your crafting up. Like, I don't know another way unless you're going to do like dragon bodies or something like that. Not a lot of people have the time, you know? Uh, yeah, I was 71 when I started this, so I'm 85 crafting right now. I gathered about 100, 100k, 100k buckets. And that took, uh, that took me about two weeks of just like, you know, mindlessly doing this, put a video on the other, like other screen and just kind of just do it over time, right? It, it's very slow, it's tedious and it sucks. I, I get, like I got an extra level on top of my 99 just by doing it. Like I got a mil plus XP. It is silly, but you have to do it. All right, the final part of the video. The glass blowing plus lunar, and then how many you want per bucket of sand. So you're gonna wanna get the lunar spell book. If you don't already have that, go do that quest. It's not that tough. You're gonna want super glass make with 77 magic. After you have that and have all of your buckets of sand and your gigantic seaweed, you're gonna wanna do a trick here. It's um, three of these, right? And then I have this already programmed to 18. So it's a one click 18 and then I click this three times. After that, you're gonna wanna have astral runes these ones here. You can buy them on the island that you do Lunar on. You're going to want a fire totem or tome and a, I mean, it doesn't really matter what battle staff you use. You just want air, right? Yeah. It's a 10 air, six fire. That's why we, we wield these both. And um, I'm going to notice that when I do that, I have all of my glass here, but hold on. I'm going to take out more and I'm going to show you what can happen. Where is it? Oh, is this it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do another one, right? Oh, what, what's this? Molten glass fell on the ground. What does that mean? That means you have way more. Like it gave you extras. And I can see like sometimes it'll give you like 15 extra on one cast. And it's ridiculous. Like you'll get so much more. And here's a choice you have to make. Do you want to pick them up or not? If you're an Iron Man, absolutely pick them up. See there, we just got 10 more. You absolutely pick them up as an Iron Man. But if you're a free, like if you're just a player who, you know, a normal account, doesn't really have the fucking time, you know, you can leave that on the ground. It's not a big deal. Playing as a normal character, like you're just maximizing, right? But as an Iron Man, every little piece of glass matters so much. Anyway, you just keep doing that. You see here, crafting XP, 5.25 mil. But that's not true, because when we start blowing this, and I'm gonna show you how, take that out, take out your glass blowing thing. Um, say, uh, I'm only 85 crafting, right? So I can only make lanterns, like the lantern lenses. But as soon as I hit 87, I can start making the other ones. It's the maximum. I think it's the light bulbs, the Dorgashin light bulbs. And you're gonna notice that I'm getting 55 XP per lantern one. But as soon as I start making the other ones, it's 70. So all that 100K of the molten glass is gonna be just way more XP all of a sudden. So I'm really hoping that I can get this up to like 97 and then kind of slowly finish it. Getting 99 is so important with crafting. Number one, the teleport on the cape is so useful. That and the construction one, obviously. You have both of those sitting at the bottom of your, you know, right here, when you're running around doing things. You got a bank instantly, and then you got the house telly. It's insane, like, it's OP, right? So we'll do another load of this. Um, other than that, like, crafting has so much benefits, like, you don't know how good it is and how good you feel when you make that that theory for the first time and like you're, you're finally have a really good necklace on your neck and you don't have to use like glories anymore. I'm not saying glories are bad, but my God, a theory kicks its ass in every way, right? And then later on, if you were to stick with this and get the 99, 
You can make a torture. You can make some of the best in, in the game jewelry for your character. And that's really going to set you apart from other irons and stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this guide helped you in some way. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.